Hey, what's up everybody? Chris Souders, Slunger Cat Outdoors, back with you again today from the James River with Captain Trey Thorpe, good friend Trey Thorpe, fishing with Fat Guide Service. And uh, we wanted to just come to you guys. Something I've been doing everywhere I go is try to get with somebody that is from that area to give the viewers and people that may not have been to that area before a few tips to get them to go and try somewhere new. So today we're gonna to be talking about James River. It is by far one of the best fisheries in the United States. Could, could you agree? It's my favorite. I would definitely agree though. It's It's got a strong population of big blue cats and we're tickled pink with it and this river really spoils us and makes us look better than we are. Absolutely. So today we're gonna to give you guys four tips to help you if you was decide to come to this body of water. Uh, we are fishing today around the Jordan Point area of the James River, which is a good section, lots of good fish. Um, so, Trey, you give them two tips and I'll give them two tips, what do you think? That sounds like a plan. All right. Um, I guess my first tip would just be prepared for anything. This river will change on you, weather, everything, just uh, general river safety. You wanna be mindful of every, all your surroundings and everything at any times, cause the weather can kick up, everything can change and you're unprepared, you're in a bad situation real fast. So Absolutely. Just, just get prepared and have everything ready. I mean, yesterday it was 60 and beautiful and today it's uh, 40 and 25, 30 mile an hour winds. I mean, change on a dime. <laughs> Absolutely. So that's a that's a good tip, you know, river safety, and you guys should take that advice. Uh, my second tip would probably be just to, you know, a lot of guys like to run and gun and hit a spot and 10, 15 minutes move to the next spot. I'm not that guy. Um, generally, tournament fishing or something like that, we'll pick two or three spots and that's it. We will fish those spots till the tide turns and move to the next one. And it, it honestly, we try to set ourselves in a position where the fish will come through where we're sitting and we just have to wait them out. It's gonna happen. Yeah. And and fishing that away, you know, that's completely, you know, that's different than the way I like to fish. You know, I like to target a specific piece of structure um, where just like you said, you're, you're trying to find that area where those fish are gonna travel with these tides and, uh, and catch them on the move. And that's a, that's a good game plan paid off in the, yeah. in the past. Uh, a lot of the older school guys have kind of put me onto that because when I first started I was running gun. Oh, with 30 minutes we haven't caught a fish, let's move. It's a lot harder to catch a fish when you're driving down the river than when you're <laughs> anchored up fishing. Yeah, absolutely. So, uh, you know, two tips that I think I would give you guys, you know, to come down here and fish. I've been able to, been blessed enough to be able to come down to this river and fish for several years uh, is one, gear. Um, you know, make sure you have good gear to handle these fish you never know no matter where you're setting up uh, what time of the day what tide you never know when that monster is just gonna absolutely destroy your rod and you want to be able to make sure you have your gear checked um, up to ante a little bit you know if you're if you normally use 30 pound line use 50 if you normally uh, you know use uh, you know eight ounces of weight use a you know you're gonna to have to use a pound so you know heavy rods uh, bigger reels bigger weights you know uh, you know bigger baits so that is that's one tip that I would give you guys is to kind of up your ante on the on the gear um, second would be do not be afraid to fish shallow now this river has deep water it has deep structure <laughs> but I truly like fishing down here in shallow water it's my yeah. favorite uh, you know whenever I when I'm talking about shallow I'm talking two three four five foot you know shallow shallow water but now that has its time um, you know but don't be afraid to try it if if it's summertime and you're down here and you're fishing at night try that shallow winter time you're fishing down here it's a nice warm day try that shallow um, so hopefully that helps you guys out. Um, if you get a chance, come down here to the James River. It is a phenomenal fishery. There are, you know, several guides, Fishing with Fat Guide Service, they're gonna put you on some good fish if you've never been down here. Uh, you wanna get to, get to know the lay of the land, 
uh, figure out how to fish this tidal river. It can be tricky. I mean, it took me, you know, a couple years of coming down here to really figure it out. And that'll cut the learning curve for you guys and, and keep you guys safe. Learn the river, uh, you know, before you get out there and you make a mistake. So, Trey, that's some pretty good information. Uh, you know, I, I liked it. Yeah, you're definitely not wrong. Shallow is my favorite. And honestly, you, you got folks that go deep. Everybody wants to find the deepest hole in the river. Yeah. While they're going deep, I'm sitting in two foot of water, and they're looking at me like I'm a fool. But it can happen. They've it generally happen. got the same look when we get back to the scales with 130 <laughs> pounds of fish. They're looking at me like a fool. Like, I know you didn't catch that in that two foot of water you were anchored in. <laughs> well, hey. You just never know until you try. You exactly. got to try. You got to try. Well, folks, I want to thank you guys for joining us today. I'll leave Trey's information, the Fishing with Fat Guide service, and all of his social media links in the description below. Make sure you hit that thumbs up, hit a like, go over to his YouTube channel as well, uh, Fishing with Fat on YouTube, um, Instagram, all the social media platforms. I'll leave the links in the description below. Want well, thank you guys for watching. Hope this helps. Come to the James River, Hopewell, Jordan Point. There he is. Absolutely. Have you a good time. Catch some good fish. There he we'll is. catch you later. Fish on.